Hi there, we're Ben and Anna Clifford and we're part of the Chester campus here at Audacious and we're doing today's Audacious devotional. This week is a build up to our big vision Sunday on Sunday and so we're going to be talking to you today about serving the vision. Yeah, what an exciting time of the season to be in for church as we approach this vision Sunday. Um, we are going to be speaking to you today just a little bit about serving the vision and what that means. Now, we spent some time chatting and getting our heads around what exactly does serving a vision mean? And the verse Habakkuk 2 verse 2 came to mind for both of us, which says this. It says, write down the revelation and make it plain on the tablet so that a herald may run with it. The message, message version says it like this. Write it out in big block letters so that it can be read on the run. I love this verse and especially this version because it implies a couple of things. That first of all, we need a clear understanding of the vision. And second of all, that we need to be running. We need to be active. We need to be moving, proactive. It's a doing word and it very much implies that we shouldn't be standing still. Our first little encouragement to you is to this week in the run up to vision is just to spend some time in God's presence, asking him, what vision do you have for my life? What is it that you see for me? Journal it, maybe write it down, make it plain. What's he saying to you? Ask the Holy Spirit to come and speak to you. The Great Commission is a great place to start. It makes it quite clear in Matthew 28, verse 19. It says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I've commanded. The vision here is to go and see people hearing about the gospel, and it sees people being saved, being baptised. So what vision is God giving to you in your life? Once you have the vision in mind, you then got to run. This for us as a couple means doing all that we can in faith. Hebrews 12 verses 1 and 2 says, Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Again, our eyes fixed on Jesus, fixed on the vision, fixed on Jesus. We need to run the race with perseverance, with a can-do attitude. Our verse for the week in the, in the NIV version, Proverbs 11 verse 24, says one person gives freely yet gains more. And this not only applies for our finances, but for our time and our energy. When we give, we can expect to receive more back. It's not logical, right? Not in the natural, except this race we're being asked to run is a supernatural race, not a natural one. Over the last few years as part of Audacious Church, particularly in, in Chester, we've seen and we've experienced the power of God moving when we decide to participate in the vision. And we've had to make some personal decisions along the way around what that means for us financially and also in terms of our time physically and we've always taken the attitude of saying that we're going to be yes people and that we're going to say that we're going to be can do people and what we've noticed is that there's times where we've said yes we've said that we can do something we've not always known how we're going to do that but what we've known is that God's given us the word to stand on that that's what we're to do and we've stepped into that vision with faith knowing that if we step up and say yes and we step up and say yes we can do it that actually god's going to meet us in the middle and that he'll he'll fill the gap that we don't have he'll meet the finances that we've committed to that we we don't currently know how we're going to do it but also in terms of our time that the thing of looking at the calendar and thinking i don't know quite how this is going to work but i know what god's called me to and god always steps up and meets the gap when we step up god steps up even more than we do our encouragement to you today, church, is to spend time asking, perhaps once you've got the vision, what steps he is wanting you to take towards helping to serve that vision? What things can you do to put this into action? What are you already doing, perhaps, that requires a little boost of perseverance as we run that race? We want you to know that we're praying for you this week. We're believing that as a church, when we see the vision marked out plainly in big block letters on Sunday, that we'll be stirred into action and we'll be stirred into 
captain running towards it. We're super excited to see how everyone's going to step up and play their part in making the vision become a reality. And we're so excited what God's going to do in your lives in this coming season. Have a great day, church. Have a great day.